So you want to express yourself through sewing by creating one-of-a-kind mix, but despite having good intentions, when you sit down to sew, all the spoils. And then you've done a little this and a little that. Hours have gone by and no real progress has been made. Sound familiar? I'm going to share all of my secrets to creating hundreds of heirloom creations as a mama to four little ones. And often I'm filming my sewing, which adds another layer. So if these secrets can help me, I am sure they can help you. First things first, create a time block. As a mama to very small children, this may not be entirely possible, but that's okay. Just keep watching and you'll see how to piece together the other secrets for your benefit but if you are able to have a dedicated block of time do it this can be as small as 20 minutes and if you're a mama to a very young one this could mean waking up 30 minutes before they do or using their nap time or having a little sewing session after they go to bed for the evening 20 to 30 minutes daily really does add up to a lot of progress these days my blocks of sewing time range from about an hour to three hours depending on other tasks and well life <laughs> still have those kiddos right you see the ghost but at night I do remember those days of having very very young ones they were not that long ago you see the baby huh do you see the baby in the mirror it will help though I do remember sewing 30 seconds at a time not so much fun I remember waking up early and later so when when I say it's possible I know it's possible because I have done it. So you can do this, Mama. Turtle wins the race one stitch at a time. And as I enter into this time, this block of you know time that I've set aside, I'm setting myself up for success mentally. It's almost like I'm putting blinders onto the outside world. This is your sewing time. This time is going to pass, but what will you do with it? That's right, you're going to focus. In order to help with focusing, here are my guidelines. It needs to be a clean space. Clean space, clean mind. Now I sew in a tiny little quarter and you may relate and that's just fine. I'd love to have a big old sewing studio one day, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. But until now, we are making do. But still, having things picked up as much as possible makes a massive difference on my mental clarity, happiness, and productivity. So I take the five minutes to tidy up my space if necessary. And on that note, less is more when it comes to other things in your surrounding. Limit outside distractions. For me, I stick with simple music, maybe this is jazz or something classical, and I love to open a window when the weather is nice too, but there is no TV, there is especially no news playing in the background. Remember, this is supposed to be a fun, enjoyable, like relaxing. The news has no, <laughs> I contribute none of those adjectives to the news. Anyone can relate, right? Like, no. <laughs> And sure, I have my cell phone handy, but that's only in case one of my kiddos' schools needs to get a hold of me. There's also no food or anything else. Which brings me to my next item, staying hydrated. If this were to be first thing in the morning, I would include coffee on my list, but otherwise I stick mainly to water with some tea here and there. This allows me to stay focused, and of course, water is good for a number of other reasons. So now that I'm all set up in my sewing time block, with a clean space, without any outside distractions, staying hydrated, how do I actually perform the sewing? I batch work as much as I can. But how do you batch work unique sewing items? Go check out this video and you will find out all of those secrets. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I'll do the best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time. Audrey, get down. No, 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 no. You have to ask. Okay, never mind. not safe.